What is up everybody, Jason, AKA Jester, and today I'm gonna to be remaking one of my most popular videos that I made on Facebook. This thing blew up way bigger than I ever expected. It is an award-winning recipe. Let's get outside, I'll show you what we're doing. And this recipe that got so many views and became so, so popular is going to be a stuffed poblano pepper. Now this recipe came about because I was in a contest uh, with some people that I knew and one of the categories was actually a vegetable that was supposed to come off the smoker. So this is what I came up with as far as a recipe. I'm sure others have done it, but I do consider this to be a bluntly original uh, recipe that I created. First of all, what you're gonna do is you're going to take some poblano peppers. We're just gonna be doing four halves today. I'll show you how to clean those up. It's gonna be stuffed with some cream cheese. I just went with this basic best choice brand because we're gonna be adding a lot of flavor to it and this helped keep costs down. And again, everything you see on the table here is going to be $20 or less. So this could go into the budget cooking, but uh, I'm gonna probably put it in, in smoked meats or smoked foods because that's really where it belongs in my opinion. So inside the cream cheese, we're then gonna add some mild breakfast sausage. This is just your basic Jimmy Dean. We're then gonna add some Colby Jack cheese. And then where I think it's really gonna set things apart is going to be the pineapple. This is not an item that I see many people putting into their poppers, but it gives a really, really nice sweetness to kind of go with the salt. And speaking of that, we're gonna be adding a little bit of that Woody's rub that we like to put on everything, both on the outside once we get it wrapped, and then on the inside just to get the flavor started. And then of course, we will be wrapping it all in bacon. Uh, we're gonna probably use two pieces per on these. So there'll be one around the outside to hold the ingredients in so we don't get too much seepage, and then one that goes all the way around to protect the pepper. All that being said, let me get everything cleared up. Let me get on these poblanos and I'll show you how to get those ready to stuff. So to get these ready, all we really wanna do is take our knife and you wanna take the top right off of it. And then what I typically do is I find the length side where it's a little bit longer than it is fat. And I come across here and try to cut it right down the middle, like so. From there, all you have to do is you pull out these seeds and then you just take the tip of your knife real gently and de-vein it. Always be careful of your fingers. I know I've said this in pretty much every video where I use a knife, but uh, that is just the truth. Just be very, very careful when using a knife. And at the end, you're gonna end up with something that looks about like this. We'll of course get those seeds out of there, but this is what we're gonna stuff for our actual poppers. From there, we're not gonna take the whole container of cream cheese, but I am gonna use all of the pineapple. This was just one of the really small eight ounce cans that's been drained, and do make sure it's drained really well. Uh, you don't want this stuff being too juicy because it's just gonna help it to fall out. From there, all we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a nice liberal amount here of our cream cheese. But again, not all of it. From there, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna throw in some sausage. I want there to be enough sausage to where you get a little bit in every bite, but it's not overwhelming. And then lastly is the Colby Jack cheese. A good amount of that. Now hopefully you guys don't hear any thunder. I'm kind of dodging raindrops again. Seems to be uh, just the, the way stuff goes for me. Uh, also, let's add in just a little bit of that Woody's rub. Maybe a teaspoon or so. And then all we have to do is mix this all together and we're ready to stuff. So we decided to actually go ahead and scrap the idea of putting a saddle piece on these because it turns out these are just a little bit too on the uh, not vertical side. So what we're gonna try to do is stretch out two pieces of bacon to where it covers and we get just a little bit of uh, overhang and hopefully that's gonna hold stuff in. But you wanna stuff your pepper to where it looks something like this. And then you wanna grab at least a couple of pieces of bacon. And for me, I think what we'll do is we will start it kind of right there at the end and stretch as we go and we don't want it to overlap too too much because we need to get all the way down to the end of the pepper with this bacon especially by the end of the second piece here but if you do it about like so you should have nice coverage and then that bacon is going to more than cook that pepper for you as it goes into the smoker and gets warmer now that we have everything all wrapped up and looking pretty good, we're just gonna take a little bit of that rub. Again, don't overdo the rub. There's plenty of flavor inside of this. This is just gonna help it to color up a little bit. That's really about all you want. Let's get it over to the smoker and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. And then we'll come back and I'll show you the very end once it's all done. So as we always have to do when we're running this Traeger pellet fed, 
We're going to turn our machine on and we're going to click it over once to the smoke cycle. We're only going to do about 30 minutes smoke on this because this isn't a meat or anything and plus the bacon already has some smoke flavor to it. At that point we're going to turn it up to about 250 for two and a half hours and that's pretty much going to be the cook. You're just looking to get that bacon nice and crispy and to get that pepper to kind of an al dente where it's not crunchy but not soggy. So hopefully everything goes well and I will see you guys on the cutting board and show you what these look like finished. And right at the two and a half hour mark, these are done. Let me bring them right up close. These look fantastic. We didn't exactly get the best bacon coverage, but hey, it's a poblano, it's not a jalapeno. These are gonna be a little more mild and I, I think they're just easier to eat. Hopefully you guys like this kind of content. If you do, please think about giving the video a like and uh, maybe subscribe because we have tons more coming in the future when it comes to the food side of stuff. Uh, we also have a lot of gaming stuff coming up. So if you guys are into any of that stuff, definitely give it a, give it a look. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.